Hmm. Well. Okay. So, it's chapter two, which came out in 2019. If you watched my first review of the first film, the first, the, re the remake, reimagining, whatever you want to call it, it was a bit of a, a rant, uh, because there was things I thought could have been explored and done differently. Granted, I, again, I didn't want, I didn't read the book, but I had ideas of what I thought the film could have done. And then I watched this. I had seen this back when it came out, but and some I, somehow I guess I was more high on it back when it came out. Like I remember praising the second one more than the first one. But yeah, this one also suffers from the problem of uh, too many j the stupid jump scares. Pennywise is not used effectively in this much. He's in it for sure a lot, but it's like not in not he's not scary like. <laughs> and you already know how the scares go. You, most of them are in the trailer. Um, I mean, the same director comes back to direct, which is pretty cool, but also annoying because he doesn't learn what, you know, what he could have done better in the first, but whatever. I guess all the, the praise that he got from the first film, he wanted to up it. So, as much more Pennywise and more stupid jump scares. Um, I'm a fan of the miniseries a lot. Tim Curry's Pennywise is definitively better, in my opinion. This Pennywise, there's, there's a good Pennywise in there somewhere, but they don't use him the way they should. Granted, maybe he's like this in the book. I don't care. <laughs> his look in this is fine. I like his look more here than in the first part. Um, this the same kid actors that were in the first film. They come back in this. Of course, I I believe they de-aged them or something. Like I guess to make them look the same age as they were in the first um, here. But I did like the inner change of. The adults and then to the kids and to the kids from the to the adults. So I like how they had flashbacks with them as a group. I don't like the the I the uh, individual flashbacks because those were a waste of time. I get the MacGuffin thing where you all have to go because Mike's like you all have to go off on, alone to find your tokens, pretty much find your memories, lost memory possessions for a ritual what they have to do towards the end which I'm like and most of them is like lame like all Beverly's is a letter from Ben that she doesn't know who really wrote it was which was Ben um Ben's is a moment with Beverly but wasn't really her it was actually Pennywise teasing them and Chasing him in an abandoned ha in school <laughs> hallway. Um, I forget. Oh, Eddie's was his mom. He goes to a pharmacy, gets scared by a snot homeless monster thing, gets puked on, and with a stupid song playing. Um, Beverly's is. Oh yeah, hers also, she she goes to her old home, finds an old lady living there, but then not really, then it's actually Pennywise, of course, in disguise. Of course, we saw that in the trailer, so it was like, that wasn't really a surprise. So that could have been hidden, but you know, whatever. Um, 
there's a scene in this I use in a, a small little teaser for a stop motion I did, I think like a year or so ago, of a Pennywise little stop motion Lego thing, where he, the scene where he kills like this one little girl from watching a baseball uh, game thing, where she goes and catches, goes to find a lightning a fire bug or whatever, and you know, the hands come out, and then I use that clip, I edited that clip into a teaser. You can check that out. But I liked the 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 first time we see Pennywise is bl like these two gay guys. They're being harassed, beat up. One of them gets thrown over a bridge into a river, and it's very faint that we see Pennywise, very blurry, but we know it's him. I liked that scene. That was a little bit kind of subtle where, you know, he doesn't fully, you know, uh, but then he does the whole CGI long mouth thing and then chomps on the guy, which I, it was all right. It was okay. I wish they would use more practical effects, but you know, um, Bill's care or, uh, Bill's, uh, side story, whatever, you know, uh, memory, or really side story thing, where he has to, he blames himself for Georgie, even though I thought we established in the first film, he got over that when he, you know, shot the fake Joy, Geor Georgie in the head, I guess not, because then he still does this whole, I, it's my fault, and then I need to prevent this other kid from dying from Pennywise, and that could have been cut out of the film, Cause then all it, it doesn't amount to anything. And he goes to chase the kid in a, a mirror, uh, a house of mirrors, you know, thing. Which I thought that was a pretty creepy scene where you had Pennywise in these mirrors in the dark a bit. He's there and then he's not there. They could have done a lot of stuff with uh, with that scene. They could have made it way more creepier than it actually was. I did like the part where he's like just banging his his forehead against the the glass to get to this kid, and then all it is is just he he just chomps on the kid real fast, and then that's it. <laughs> then Bill blames himself. I I couldn't get to him in time, and I'm like, how's this? Whatever. But yeah, that could have been cut out. The whole uh uh I forget the the guy that breaks out of the mental ward, he, uh, Barnes or whatever, he could have been cut out of the film, because, uh, Henry B Bowers, he could have been cut out of the film, really, he should have died in the first part to me, he fell, he fell in that well, he should have died in hitting whatever, but no, he gets, we see him getting flushed out of the tunnel or whatever, and he survives, and then gets arrested as a kid, and then, you know, he's in a nut house. I'm like, why didn't he just... And then there's scenes of him with a zombie uh, dead friend of his, I guess. Whatever. I thought that was dumb. Again, this whole Henry Bowers thing could just end it in the first film. Did not need to put it in the second film. Because it doesn't amount to anything. All he does is try to attack... He attacks Stan, and then he attacks Mike... It's killed by Richie. I will say the humor in this is pretty decent. From I like the scene where they get, they all uh, reunite and they're sitting in the restaurant. Of course, from the mini series. Uh, but I did like their interplay between. I like the dialogue where they're you know playfully insulting each other, jokingly and no no I like that scene. I thought that was pretty good. Really enjoyed it. And then, um, of course, they go off because they're freaked out over the encounter that they had. And then, the, now the stand, the, it's the the stand death. I don't really count that as a Pennywise kill. I think that was more he. I I think he did it himself. Cause he even he even wrote a uh, suicide letter that he decided to take himself off the board. So really. Pennywise lied. <laughs> kind of. 
not even finding Eli. Eli. But, uh, but yeah, I'm thinking that Pennywise killed him. No, it was actually him. So he just did it himself. Um, I did like the transition from his death to the blood dropping onto, uh, Beverly. And she, I did like how they expanded. That part I actually liked where they explained what she saw when she got hit with the deadlights in the first film. They actually expand on that in this one. Um, which I like. I, wish, I don't know if that was in the book. Because they didn't do that in the miniseries. But um, I'm guessing that either they added that in this. Which I'm like, I wish you would add it way more better stuff then. You could, but you know. The ending uh, battle was fine. Um, they took cues from Elm Street 5 uh, a bit, um, which I, I liked that one, so it was cool, um, but, now, I guess Richie's supposed to be gay, I guess, because there's, like, a flashback of him with a, another boy, and, like, he sort of, uh, it's hinted maybe he had a thing for him, but then that kid, uh, kind of decide not even kind of he just decides to be a jerk and because henry bowers comes around and you know outs him out or whatever and so i, I guess he's supposed to be hinted as kind of gay but then maybe he's not but then we have two gay characters at the beginning but then you don't want to make your main character gay because maybe that's not in the book but then like then why'd you hint that he might be if you just you want to do something different, and then you don't really do it different. You just have to do it different, I guess. I don't know. We're too scared to really... We don't know how people are going to react to that. Because <laughs> that's not in the book, so... Whatever. Um, again, there's also a scene where Beverly, Beverly has a flashback to her dad. Where he is belittling her and talking about how her mom died because of her and... Then he does this weird, this weird, creepy thing he does in the film where he spr he's like, I can still smell her perfume. But then, like, he, like, gets up and literally, like, vi almost violently, like, starts spraying, like, frantically all over Beverly and himself. And I'm like, what is this wrong with this man? And then she just embraces him slowly because <laughs> she's scared. But, and that's when we get the, the, uh, Gollum looking old lady with flabby, uh, you know, tatas that was like, ew, I didn't want to see that. But, you know, we also get a dude's butt ox in this film, we get a butt shot of a dude, but we can't get Jessica Chastain to show anything. Okay. But we also, I guess, I guess they did. Kind of, but then not really, because that's a CGI person, that's not even, that doesn't count. I don't count the golem looking grandma, I'm sorry. And plus, that's technically a guy, that's Pennywise in disguise, so that's two dudes technically nude in this, so whatever. But we don't get any chicks, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, the acting in this is fine from everyone. I will, or pretty good from everyone. You have Jessica Chastain as Beth Ridley, of course, uh, James McAvoy as Bill, uh, Bill Hader as one of the losers. The guy that played Mike, I thought, did really good. I thought everybody did really well in their parts, they're pretty good. Um, I can't really say anything much uh, amazing about the film, except stuff I'm sort of pro the pros again is the acting is pretty good really good to pretty good um the mirror house mirror house of mirror scene where uh, Bill's chasing the kid to save him from Pennywise I thought it was that could have been that was sort of creepy could have been way more creepier it could have been done better it's like they were rushing that a bit or something I don't know um it seems almost rushed. Um, just have them chase them in here and 
do this and that. And then bang your head into the glass. Which I laughed every single time uh, James McAvoy uh, bumped his head into a glass wall. Uh, or mirror. And what else? Um, I guess, oh yeah, the scene with Beverly's dad being creepy. Really, he's, well, her, again, I rather, well, I don't know. So I guess three things is the, the, uh, acting's really good to pretty good. Uh, the, the House of Mirrors. And the look of, the look of Pennywise, I would say, is pretty good. Uh, the, the cons, again, jump scare central. Doesn't learn from the your mistakes from the first film. You hint uh, one of your character, one of your main characters, gay, but then not really gay. But then we don't know what we want to do with that, I guess. But then by the end, it's like then he carves an R and then an E or whatever. So I guess he had a hots for Eddie. I get. I don't. Um, um, I think they should have done wait they should have been more subtle with Pennywise way more subtle um, the the final fight with them is is fine it's not as it's not really bad again CGI I prefer practical at least in the many series I remember I think that was like a bit stop motion, but then also practical. So, uh, you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. But that was done better to me in the miniseries. The, the look, anyway, to me. Um, but, and then it ends, and, you know, people go, to, they go their separate ways or whatever. Um. I did like it ended on them as kids, and they ride off on their bikes or whatever. And then you see a a uh, billboard for Elm Street Five. So overall, it's just an all right film. I would say, is it better than you know the first part? I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I, again, I don't really like any. Of these movies. I like elements of these movies, but I like the mini series way more. It's way more creepier with Pennywise, Tim Curry's. Um, but I would recommend it if you enjoyed the first film. Then you might, you'll probably like this, not love it, but you'll probably like it. Um, especially what they do with towards the end with a character. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, please give it a like and subscribe, share, comment. And uh, until next time, take care and peace and love.